Hello everybody and welcome to Henry's Kitchen where today I'm going to be teaching you how to make Henry's self-isolation kitchen cupboard casserole. Well the apocalypse is here and probably the worst part about being stranded in quarantine when it's a global pandemic is trying to figure out which recipes to prepare. So I'm going to show you a basic dish that you can make with ingredients that are probably already in your kitchen cupboard and it's going to be so delicious you'll find yourself saying well maybe this pandemic shit's not so bad I'm gonna show you a technique that's used in the medical uh, field which is called sterile technique and uh, I'm under a great deal of stress right now so please be kind to me in the YouTube comments um, I've got two sides of the table here I've got uh, the right side is going to be our clean side. We're going to consider anything on this side to be clean, and then this is going to be our contaminated side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our ingredients. So I've got here some extra wide egg noodles. Um, these are expired actually. It says used by uh, March 13th. So um, March 2013 apparently. So that's okay because when you cook them, it kills whatever uh, bacteria or anything like that. You want to focus your cleaning efforts, especially on the parts of the box that people have touched. Um, now these have been in my cupboard for a long time, so chances are nobody's really touched those. But um, <coughs> I've got some taco seasoning here, which uh, is mostly going to just flavor. Um, our casserole. I have some barbecue sauce here that I bought from Alpha Beta which was a great store when I was growing up but they're no longer here. Now we're ready to get started on our casserole. Okay we're gonna start by crumbling up our crackers here. So we're gonna leave them in the bag and you can either do it with your hands or I like to use my shoe Just crumble it on up there. Okay, so these look pretty well crumbled. Now we're just going to open up the bag here. I'm going to pour them into the bottom of our casserole dish. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the water from our artichoke hearts to moisten the crumbs. And again, I'm just going to pat this down with my shoe. Boy, I can't believe how hard it is to get this government stimulus check. Yesterday I got a call from this guy with the IRS and I had to give him my social security number, and my mom's maiden name, and all my bank information. I guess that's the government for you. Now let's open our can of cranberry sauce. And I'm going to cut it up sideways, just like a sausage. Add in the artichokes. Now it's time to cook our noodles. So we're just going to stir these noodles, let them boil until they're al dente. You know, being self quarantined really makes you have a lot of reflective thoughts. Like recently, I was thinking, I wonder if there's any cases of animals that got infected with coronavirus by eating humans. I guess we'll never know. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take our pumpkin puree and I'm going to stir it up with our pasta until it becomes combined. And this will make our filler. Now let's sprinkle it with some raisins. I like to use food that's really old so that way it doesn't go to waste. And once again I'm going to pat this down using my shoe. Okay, so I've preheated the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to put that in the oven for one hour. And when we're done, we're going to enjoy. The deficit's at an all-time high As carbon emissions fill the sky And North Korea's firing bombs As political accusations fly And California just got hit by a swarm of killer bees and now you tell me there's a fuck 
American global disease COVID-19, COVID-19 I've been sitting here in quarantine While the nightly news tells deadly tales of COVID-19 COVID-19, COVID-19 Could you spare some hydroxychloroquine? Cause I think that I've got COVID-19 COVID Mmm, that was delicious. Well, thanks for joining me everybody. And as always I want to say a special thank you to the patrons at Patreon slash Henry's Kitchen for keeping these videos alive even during these difficult times. So please stay safe, everybody, and I'll see you next month. 19, COVID-19, take another shot of Listerine as we raise our glasses high again to COVID-19.